my way to cycle gear to pick up some coolant for the Vulcan S. She's not low on coolant. It's still within the full and low line, but it's a little lower than halfway. And so I figured I'd just go go and pick up some coolant for uh, to use in the near future to top it off and all that stuff. They close early on a Sunday, so gotta go. Oh yeah, if you follow me on Instagram, check this out. These are classic Vulcan uh, tank badges that I had a ordered from ebay painted them black although i kept this red and all that stuff so on this side too it looks like it it belongs i mean it just it really does so <laughs> i said this before but i really wish kawasaki made like a variation of this original badge specifically for the vulcan s just to keep that tradition because all the other vulcans had these types of badges oh well anyways i'm on the way to pick up some coolant for future use a few moments later <laughs> What is going down, YouTube? It's T Dog again with another video. What the hell? Go. Oh. Interesting people that drive down here, I swear. Title of the video Dealing with Negativity. Some people call it hate. Hating, being, you know, people being haters. That's one way to put it. This is not to be confused with people showing concern for you when you're doing something that, you know, you really shouldn't be doing. There's a lot of people out there that, like, do stuff or have bad habits, whether it be drugs, alcohol, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. Friends, families, or whoever show concern and, you know, try to tell them, like, they shouldn't be doing that. And then they get all mad, say, like, oh, you're just hating. You're just, you know, I don't need that negativity. I, like, I'm doing what I love, doing what I want, when really it's detrimental to you or other people. But I'm not talking about that. I'm just talking about people who basically talk shit. That's <laughs> what it comes down to it, just people who like to talk shit. Unfortunately, this could mean people that are close to you or people that just, you know, are just completely random people out there. Random people that you don't know, just over the internet or whatever, like, that's whatever. You know, anyone could be doing that. Honestly, like, that shit shouldn't bother you whatsoever because, you know, people aren't important to you. What really sucks are the people that do know you, like, personally, and they've known you for a while. They might even be friends. This is a general, you know, thing. In my case, you know, motor vlogging, or it could be if you have a hobby or something that isn't really a normal hobby sort of say but it's like a hobby that you have genuine interest in and like doing it it genuinely gives you joy in your life people just want to talk shit you know it kind of uh, amazes me some of the shittiest people i guess you could say are those people that see someone is excited over something those people talk shit and bring people down like that those are some shitty people let the chick let the dude have her, uh, have her his fun. Whatever it is that is making them excited or whatever. Especially if it doesn't concern them or affect them in any way whatsoever. A lot of the times, it's just, well, what is this? This is cool. Kind of weird, but whatever. A lot of times, it's just, you know, your friend or family or whoever it is. They're talking shit just to bust your balls, you know? They're just there just to, you know, just to mess with you. Harmless teasing or whatever you want to call it. You know, it's fine. I do it to my friends, you know. It's all good. We don't really need it when we're talking shit. We're just doing that just to, you know, you know just to mess with each other. The thing is, even that stuff kind of gets old after a while. Especially when you're just doing it all the time, constantly. To the point to where they're not even, like, pleasant to really be around. Because you're in the back of your head, you're just like, what's this guy gonna say? Is that I'm about to do this, I'm about to post this on Facebook. What's this person about to say? It gets toxic and cancer sent a while. When it comes to dealing with all that negativity, a lot of people say, oh, you know, just ignore them and whatnot. Which is easier said than done. Tell people, hey, just ignore them. Just ignore the haters. If they hate you, you're doing something right. To a certain extent, yeah, like that's a correct, I guess. Hey, it's a lot easier to wrap your head around all that when you understand the psychology behind it all. A lot of times when people be all negative and be all toxic with you, nine times out of ten it stems from their own like subconscious. Subconsciously, they feel insecure about themselves. Or I guess the only other word I can think of is subconsciously jealous of you and whatever it is that you're about to do that something that you're excited about and they subconsciously wish that they had something exciting in their life like what you're about to do or whatever it's a subconscious like reaction in terms of like bringing down that person back to their level back to their level of misery or you know negativity or whatever a lot of times they can't stand that someone's doing better than them you know someone else is being happy and they're not so you have to understand that these 
people, shit talkers, or whatever you want to call them, haters, whatever you want to call them, they are who they are towards you in that aspect. Whatever it is they're going through in their life, in their mind, whether it's because they feel underappreciated, insecure about themselves and, and who they are, or you know how manly they are, or whatever, if it's the dude you're talking about, they view you as an easy target to bring down. They feel that, oh, you're being too happy about something, or you're being too excited about something. And I'm not. Come back down to my misery. Come back down to, to, to where my level is. It's as simple as that, really. There's nothing really uh, a big, you know, thing. Oh, shit, I should have exited. Damn. I gotta take the long way around. It stems from their own subconscious of their own self-felt inadequacies. A lot of times, like I said, it just might just be you and your friends just talking shit because, you know, it's fun and funny and to bust each other's balls or whatever. Unfortunately, from what I could tell, even if it is just joking around, there is an underlying, uh, how do I say? There is an underlying, uh, I guess, truth. Not truth as in like what they're saying is true, but they say they're kidding, but deep down inside, you know, a part of them isn't. I'm 30 years old, there's a reason why I keep my circle small. Met a lot of people like this, you know, that cancerous toxicity that he said a lot of people are capable of. I mean, there's only so much you can handle. I've dealt with it in the military, I've seen it a lot out here in the civilian world, you know, like, all you can do really is, unfortunately, you're gonna have to deal with it sometimes. Once you understand the psychological aspects of all of it, it becomes easier to deal with because you understand. You're not just wondering, like, why is he being a f***ing dick? Why is he, does he like me? Or is he, does he really like to be my friend? Does it, you know, does all that, all those questions are out the window because you actually understand, like, oh, nah, it's cool. He's like that because, you know, he hates himself. <laughs> Stuff like that. Oh, McLaren, I think. I mean, that's really uh, the down and dirty of it all when it comes to that subject. It took me a, a long while to learn all this, but I learned it, and it, it gets easier to deal with. It's easier to deal with uh, if you have no choice but to deal with it, or it gets uh, easier in terms of knowing who or who and when to cut off because, you know, you don't need that negativity in your life, and you have no tolerance for that after a while, you know, all that stuff. I'm here at Cycle Gear. I'm just going to... Go get what I need and uh, leave. This is pretty much it for the video. Thanks for stopping by. Please like, subscribe if you'd like. Go ahead and comment and share if you'd like too. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.